Hello and welcome. This is a joint work between Lund University and Linköping University titled Efficient Real-Time Radial Distortion Correction for UAVs by myself, Marcus Walton and Arnhag, Patrick Persson, Morten Waderbeck, Karl Åström and Anders Hayden. We will focus on indoor navigation and rely on homographies. This means that we need planar surfaces available in the field of view, and luckily that's often the case for indoor scenarios, where we have floors, ceilings and walls to aid us. We will exclusively navigate using the ground floor. This allows us to get simplified equations, which are very fast to solve, making the method feasible for real-time applications. We rely on an assumption that the IMU drift is negligible in short time frames. Therefore, the orientation of each view is fully determined, leading to a simplified homography induced by the ground plane. That is, in the calibrated case we only need to estimate the translation between the poses. Now, it is a perfectly valid question to ask under which circumstances this assumption makes sense, and when the performance degrades because the drift is no longer negligible. To get a feeling for this, we demonstrate the IMU drift by placing the UAV on a table and record the IMU measurements. Since the UAV is not physically moving, the orientation should be constant, but as you can see, it is not. On the other hand, it is not moving particularly much, about 10 degrees a minute or so, and therefore the assumption should be reasonable using frames within a few seconds. We construct two solvers treating partially calibrated cases. The first, with unknown focal length, and the second, with unknown focal length and radial distortion profile. The latter case is, to the best of our knowledge, the very first solver to treat the case of jointly estimating motion parameters as well as focal length and lens distortion while incorporating the IMU data. This is a highly relevant case for anyone who wishes to circumvent tedious calibration procedures. So how did we create the solvers? Let's go back to the camera matrices. Here the only extrinsic parameter is the translation vector. If we normalize the point correspondence with the calibration matrix and apply the rotation data from the IMU, we get a homography on the following form. Again, the only unknown is the translation. This normalized homography is connected to the general homography through the following relation. And, since a homography maps image correspondences on a plane, we know that this must be satisfied. This assumes the pinhole camera model is applicable, which it is not when lens distortion is present. Therefore, we use the one-dimensional division model to modify the relation, and we end up with the following formulation. For the case of equal and unknown radial distortion profile and focal length, we have five unknowns, the translation vector, the focal length, and the distortion parameter. As every DLT constraint yields two equations, the minimal case consists of 2.5 points. We use a clever strategy to eliminate one of the translation parameters from the system of equation that arises, and all the details are available in the paper. We end up with a solver that is fast, approximately 150 microseconds when we run it on a Raspberry Pi 4, which is faster than most state-of-the-art methods, even though they do not correct for lens distortions. We choose the Raspberry Pi 4 because the hardware is a reasonable approximation of what you can expect on a modern UAV. Let us look at some of the experiments. We perform our evaluation on real datasets captured using a UAV with a monochrome global shutter camera equipped with an IMU. The ground truth was obtained using a complete SLAM system where the reprojection error and IMU error were minimized. There are a couple of relevant homography solvers, but they do not incorporate IMU data. We have tested our method against these. It turns out that the competing methods cannot estimate the translation vector explicitly, hence are not feasible in the SLAM framework, but they do give us an estimate of the radial distortion parameter. As a consequence, we only evaluate how well the distortion parameter is estimated. Here is an example of how it looks like. Note that there is a checkerboard pattern on the floor. In the physical world, this is a quadrilateral box, hence should be mapped to one if the distortion correction is successful. We show that only our method gives an accurate result when the solver is incorporated in a RANSAC framework and that the time it takes to establish the correct inlier set is significantly faster than for competing methods. Furthermore, we show that the proposed method for simultaneously correcting lens distortion, focal length and estimating motion parameters is better or on par with the current state of the art, even if the other methods are given pre-rectified input images, whereas our method accepts the raw images. On top of this, it is faster than most of the competing methods. The source code is available on GitHub. Just check out the links to the left. We hope you've enjoyed our presentation. Have a nice WACV 2021.